Well, welcome to Ravensdale Bible Academy. Today's course overview is our TV, movie, and uh, music reviews course. It's a course that we, we break it down into three sections, uh, 10 lessons each from TVs, movies, and music. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to review them from a, an analysis of pop culture, right? We, we want our students to be critical thinkers. We want them to be uh, biblical thinkers. And so we believe that there is uh, a lot of impact and a lot of influence that comes through uh, modern pop culture, um, especially through TV, movie, and music. Ironically, kids from all ages have always argued that there's nothing wrong with it. It's just music. It's just TV, you know, all the way back, you know, from Elvis and the Beatles, right? Um, but we know better. Uh, we know better. One of the reasons why we know better is just go and watch a, a documentary of, you know, like the 50s and the 60s and, and watch how they interview uh, the the actors and watch how they interview the, the musicians of the time, right? And they'll all say the same thing. Well, when I wrote this, what I was trying to communicate, right? And there's there's a there's a revolt against the government. There's a revolt against religion. There's a revolt against, you know, uh, atrocities or things that that they don't agree with. There's there's a an appeal to to paint a picture of what a family should look like, to paint a picture of what a community can be. And they do that through TV, movies, and music. And, and, and the sad part is, is they do that through the form of lazy entertainment. And, and that's what it is. It's that, that time where, you know, kids, you know, they just want to relax their mind. Well, the Bible's clear on this. There is no relaxing of the mind. So a man thinketh, Whatever goes into your mind, he liveth, comes out. W what you take in will come out. Uh, you know, Psalms 1 says, you know, do not walk in the path of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers. Why? Because their influence will have a way with you. And so when we sit down, when we walk, when we listen to the the conversations that are taking place through TV, music, and movies, well, th those are seeping into our in, into our minds. They're seeping into our our hearts, and, and it's amazing when you're raising kids to see, you know, kids like parrot back and repeat the things that that you would see on TV on a TV show. And so we want to train our students to uh, to to be spiritually minded to to guard their hearts, to actually know and understand what it is that they're, that they're viewing and, and then to, to be able to analyze it. And so what we do in our courses, we take songs, we take TV shows, um, we, we take movies and, and we just ask some simple questions, right? Um, you know, just what's the synopsis? What that does is it makes the student actually sit down and think, yeah, what was this show about? Because there is a purpose, there is a theme to every show, to every song. Well, what was it? Okay, so it, so it makes the student actually think about that. What are the positive elements? What are the elements of this that are, that are positive? Okay, fair enough. What about negative ones? Was there anything in this, this TV show, in this movie, in this song that was actually negative? Oh, dad, they just sing about drugs, but they don't really believe in it or do in them. Oh, dad, you know, yeah, I know the, the family is all broken and separated, but, you know, that doesn't really, you know, matter. It, it does matter. And there's a message that's being taught. What about spiritual elements? Are there any spiritual elements to what's being uh, taught or, or projected? Remember that the evil one is deceptive. The evil one likes to deceive hearts and minds. And so the, the spiritual elements may not be as obvious as you think. And so, but there is a battle that's being waged and we want our students to be well aware of what it is that they're watching and listening to. What about the crude or profane, you know, language, the disrespectful words to parents? Um, are, are they learning how to, to 
speak in a way that is not how they're taught at home. Uh, family respect is, is something that's very, very important. Most of your modern TV shows, especially if they're on Nickelodeon or Disney Channel, you know, the, the dad's a clown, you know, he's an idiot, he's dumb. You would never go to dad for wisdom or advice uh, if he's around at all. You know, the kids, the whole plot line of every show is is just lie upon lie upon lie. That's what creates the tension. And then you fix the lie in 20 seconds of the show. Everybody's laughing throughout all the lies and it's all fixed. Well, real life doesn't worth, work like that. We want to see the conflict and then the conflict resolution. How do the writers of these songs, of TV, of the movies, how do they resolve conflict? Are they biblical at all? Do they go to the Bible for any reference? Are they going to just, you know, anger and emotions and, um, you know, the, the negative things uh, that the world would pursue? And again, in a TV show, a movie, or, or a song, you know, there's real no consequences to disobedience. There's no real consequences to uh, when bad things happen. Even when they portray them as being bad, it's only five seconds on a movie screen, so you don't feel that pain. Uh, it, it, it's not real, but the reality is when, when you do damaging things, that there can be a lifelong impact from that. You, you have a teen pregnancy, you have a child forever, right? It doesn't just go away because of the next episode. And then finally, you know, we want our students to understand, was this appropriate? What Was this an inappropriate <clears throat> show to watch, movie, song to listen to? How many songs are you listening to and repeating over and over and over again to have a horrible, disgusting message? And so this course is, you know, just a, a great, you know, self-independent course. You pick the music, you pick the movie, you pick, you know, the, the TV show. Work your way, you know, student and parent uh, through this and you'll have fun, but you'll also uh, learn a lot and grow. So it's TV, movie, and music reviews.